In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to take a screenshot on your Chromebook. So, if you want to take a picture of something that's on the screen on your Chromebook, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how. So, if you just want to take a very basic screenshot really quickly, so you don't really care exactly what's in it, like you don't want to have a certain part of the screen, you just want to take a basic screenshot of your entire screen really quickly and easily, you can actually press a keyboard shortcut for that. So if you're on your Chromebook and you've pulled up whatever you want to take a screenshot of, so Timmy's just got the Tech Time with Timmy website here. So if you just want to take a screenshot of this, you just need to press Control on your keyboard. So hold down the Control key and then press this box with the lines key up here. It should be up the cr across the top of your Chromebook keyboard. So then just press on that and then you'll see here a screenshot was taken. So now the screenshot's taken, that's all you need to do. And you've got a screenshot saved in your downloads folder. And you can click on this notification here and it'll show you that inside your downloads folder, you've got this screenshot. And if you open it up, you'll see your screenshot. It's showing everything that's on your screen. So whenever you see something you wanna take a screenshot of, you don't have to think much of it. You can just quickly and easily press that, those two keys and it'll take a screenshot. But it's not ideal sometimes in certain situations because you'll see when we do this, you've still got this bottom bar here with all your apps and maybe you don't want that and maybe you don't want all this stuff down here or maybe you want to cut off the top of it and only have a certain part. So while this is really cool and quick and easy to take a picture of your whole screen, you might actually want to do it a bit more customized. So to take a more custom screenshot, more customly, if you click on the time down in the bottom right corner here, and then click on screen capture here, you'll have a whole lot more options for capturing your screen. So as you can see here, it's saying drag to select an area to capture. So now if you, just want to take a screenshot of maybe these folders you have here, but you don't want anyone to see these files here or the rest of your screen, you can click and drag at the top corner of what you want to capture and drag down and to the bottom corner of what you want to capture. And maybe you want to capture that and then let go of the mouse. And now it's going to just capture this and you can change it by dragging these dots any way if you want, if you want to be a bit more exact. But then once you're happy with that, you can just click on capture here. And now it will take a screenshot of just that bit you selected. So now it's just a screenshot of that. So if there's something specific on your screen and it's just a small thing and you don't want everyone to see the rest of your screen, this can be really handy as well. And you can also take a screenshot of a specific window if you want. So the way to me just showed you would work for a specific window because you could just select you could drag the box so it only captures the selected window. But if you want, you can actually click on a specific window you want to capture. So if we come down to the time again and click on that and click on screen capture, if you come and click on this button here, it will now allow you to click on a window. So if you hover over the files app window, you'll see it's turned blue. So that means if you clicked now, if you clicked the mouse now, it would just take a screenshot of that. Or if you hover over Chrome, it will just take a screenshot of Chrome. Or even if you hover over just the bookshelf or something like that, it'll take a screenshot of that. So if you just wanted a screenshot of the Files app, you could just click here. And now it's taken a screenshot of just the Files app. So if you open it up, you'll see you don't have anything. You don't have Chrome. You don't have the bookshelf along the bottom. You don't have anything else. You just have the Files app. So that can be really cool if you want to just take a screenshot of a specific app as well. So that's really cool and that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this helpful to easily capture screenshots on your Chromebook. You can install all kinds of different Chrome extensions if you want and they have different fancy features, but really Chrome OS has all the features you need for screenshotting built into it. So it's easier to just use that. So if you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see how to make a video of your screen, so filming your screen like Timmy does all the time on Tech Time with Timmy, Timmy's going to show you how to do that on a Chromebook in a video next week. So if you're watching this video in the past week since it's come out, you want to subscribe and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss that and you get notified when that's available. Or if you're watching this video more than a week since it's been published, you'll find a link to that other video down in the video description below. So that's really cool and Tim will see you in the next video.